بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم چپٹر نمبر ایٹ سوائل دا میجر پارٹ آف دا ارتھ از میڈ اپ آف راکس راکس آر آفن بروکن ڈاؤن بائی اسٹرانگ سن شائن سیور رینس اینڈ فاسٹ ونڈس دیٹ بلو آور تھاؤزینڈ آف ایئرس دس از اے ویری سلو پروسیس کالڈ ویدرنگ دس پروسیس کنورٹس راک انٹو اسمال پارٹیکلس کازنگ دا فارمیشن آف سوائل آن دا ارتھ سرفیس ان دس چیپٹر وی ول اسٹڈی پراپرٹیز آف سوائل نمبر ون سوائل سوائل از کمپوز آف دا اسمال بروکن پارٹیکلس آف راکس منرلس واٹر اینڈ ایئر دا اپر پارٹ آف دا کرسٹ از میڈ آف دس سوائل اٹ اسپورٹس دا گروتھ آف کراپس ویجیٹیشن اینڈ پلانٹس which are essential for the existence of all life on the earth just like air and water what is in the soil let's explore all these items are called the components of the soil info box humus is the organic matter produced by the decay of vegetables plants and dead animal matter it retains moisture in the soil and makes the soil fertile do you know the soil on the earth's surface is formed by a very slow process of rock weathering it takes about thousand years to make only a five centimeter thick layer of soil The top layer of soil contains sufficient amount of humus. It is gray in color. Below it is a layer of subsoil which contains clay. Its color is brown or reddish. The lowest layer consists of gravel. The soil of different places may differ in particle size, weight, moisture, color and texture. Number 3. Types of Soil You have analyzed the soil samples collected from different places. You have found that the soil samples are different from each other. Basically, there are three types of soil. Number 1. Clay Number 2. Sand Number 3. Silt Number 1. Clay Clay particles are very small in size. The soil is soft, sticky and brownish in color. It can hold more water. It is very hard when dry. It is difficult to pluff through it. The wet clay can be molded into any shape. It retains its shape when dried and becomes harder. It is used to make bricks and pottery. Number 2. Sand Sand consists of larger particles of gray color and light in weight. Water is drained through it rapidly. It consists of mostly silica grains. The sand soil feels gritty and coarse. Plants do not grow well in it as compared to the other soil. Uh, it is found on coastal areas or river beds. Number 3. Silt Do you know? Soil contains water and air that are essential for life. It is home of many living things such as earthworms, insects, beetles, rats, rabbits and many others. Number 4. Similarities and differences among different types of soil. Info box. Clay is useful for making pottery sand for glass and silt for cultivation do you know 
the bacteria and other microorganisms in the soil convert the wastes of living animals and dead plants into useful nutrients they increase the fertility of the soil effect of soil quality on growth of plants the growth of plants in an area depends on many factors like availability of water temperature and soil quality plant roots grow in the soil to absorb water and many nutrients plants grow well in high quality soil because it is rich in nutrients however soil varies from place to place sand holds less water and nutrients so most plants cannot grow well in sand deserts clay soil on the other hand has capacity to hold more water and nutrients such soil supports better plant growth it is important to understand the soil composition of a particular area before planting number 5 observation of water by soil what do you observe you will see the water drains rapidly through a sandy soil the drainage of water through silty soil is less than sandy soil whereas more water is observed by clay number 6 various causes of soil pollution there are many different causes of soil pollution such as industrial activities chemicals and wastes are frequently released into the soil by industries which can contaminate it agricultural practices using pesticides herbicides and fertilizers can pollute the soil when used in farming improper waste disposal improper disposing of garbage mixes it with soil it comes with the water flow during rain this contaminates the soil mining activities during mining different chemicals and metals can be released into the soil which pollutes the soil oil and fuel spills accidents involving oil and fuel spills can cause soil pollution construction activities construction sites have the potential to contaminate the soil by discharging chemicals and waste materials landfills landfills are areas where garbage is dumped and can pollute the soil and groundwater over time we can see that all of these soil pollution causes are the result of human negligence we will ultimately suffer from soil pollution because of decreased crop yield decreased ability of soil to naturally filter water odorous environment etc we need to act in a way that won't uh, that won't pollute the earth and its soil causes of soil pollution poor agricultural practices improper solid waste management unsafe storage of hazardous chemicals uh, and uh, nuclear waste leachers from uh, mismanaged landfills uncontrolled dumping of waste from household industrial plants mining number 7 professions related to earth science there are many professions related to earth science including geologists the scientists that study the physical structure composition and history of the earth is called geologist they can work in the fields to explore deep underground gas and oil they also work in the industries 
that extract metal. People who study the internal structure of the earth and the factors that can trigger earthquakes are known as seismologists. They find the depth and intensity of the earthquake uh, of the earthquake's uh, epicenter. Intensity of the earthquake's epicenter. They keep the information for future researches. Meteorologists. Meteorologists study the atmosphere of the earth and its weather and climate patterns. You must have seen people on TV giving weather reports. They use satellite images and gather data from their weather stations. They give information about present weather situations in a city or wo worldwide. They can to paleontologists key points <clears throat> humus uh, number one humus is a mixture of decayed vegetables plants and dead animal matter number two there are three types of soil sand clay and silt number three sand contains larger particles of gray color Number four, sand cannot hold water, so plants cannot grow well in it. Number five, clay particles are very small in size. It is soft and brownish in color. Number six, clay is used to make pottery and bricks. Number seven, silt is a mixture of sand, clay and humus. Number eight, bacteria convert the waste of living animals into useful nutrients.